it's morning on the Peace River. Life comes to the river, and the river comes to life. One may see white pelicans. Adults are a distinctive white with black wingtips. A slider turtle suns and balances on a tree snag, while alligators creep nearby. It's a scene repeated daily. The river is of importance to more than just wildlife. People have used the river for thousands of years. Today, adventurous folks enjoy the river with perhaps an airboat ride or a gentle paddle. The lower portion of the river is used to supply drinking water to the region. The Peace River begins in northern Polk County. From there, it runs approximately 105 miles south to the Charlotte Harbor Estuary, where it blends with the outflows of the Caloosahatchee and Mayaka Rivers. Its watershed encompasses more than 2,300 square miles and is called the Peace River Valley by locals. A watershed is an area of land that water flows across as it moves towards a common water body, such as a stream, river, lake, or coast. The Peace River gets its fresh water from rainfall. Annual rainfall averages 53 inches, with more than half occurring between June and September. Most of the rainwater re-enters the atmosphere through evaporation and plant transpiration. The rest recharges the aquifer or runs into the Peace River and its tributary streams. Fresh water from the Peace River watershed is essential to the health of the Charlotte Harbor, the second largest estuary in Florida. The Peace River Mansoto Regional Water Supply Authority can store and treat water from the lower portion of the river to supply drinking water to the region. Using this surface water helps supplement groundwater from the aquifer. Lake Hancock is the largest freshwater lake in the Peace River watershed. It's around 4,500 acres and located upstream at the start of the Peace River. The region's lands and waters are forever linked to Florida's natural cycles. Undeveloped lands allows for water recharge to the aquifer and water storage during major storm events. Land surrounding lakes, rivers, wetlands, and estuaries also serve as natural buffers to filter out pollution before it reaches the nearest water body. As any paddler knows, time on the river is time well spent. Along the river, there is the 67-mile Peace River Canoe Trail with many public access points. To learn more about watersheds in the region, visit watermatters.org watersheds.